Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I want to have a look at a specific rendering model in Leonardo.ai, which is DreamShaper version 7. It's a relatively new model, fairly recent release, and it is really cool in terms of hyperrealism and digital art style images. So let's go ahead and do some generations with this model and see what we can come up with. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to quickly just ask for the previous prompt that I was using because it was doing a really great job. Specifically, all this negative prompting that was previously added for me, it really helps things. So, I'm going to just type in some randomness and let's see what kind of cool images come back. I also have Photoshop open if there are any images that would look cool by expanding the canvas. So, first of all, this is an example of what Dream Shaper version 7 can do. I asked for a UFO with aliens. I didn't so much get aliens, but some pretty awesome UFO shots. So, let's try hot air balloons. Oh my, balloons. There we go. And what else can we try? Red hot chili peppers. And uh, let's try blowing bubble gum. Let's try dog at the beach. And how about another one? How about, uh, let's see, uh, ship in a bottle. There, let's try that. So we have many, many images being rendered for us. Let's scroll down and see what we have happening here. So here are our hot air balloons and some pretty dynamic looking images. I love it. Look at how many hot air balloons there are in this image, for example. There is a sea, a plethora of hot air balloons. I'm going to download that image. Let's open it up and have a look. So it's pretty, I really like the colors. It's sort of muted. Um, why don't we go ahead and change this canvas size to like 1800 pixels wide. And that's going to give us all kinds of space to work with here. So I'll do my cropping here and also up here like so. And we'll ask for some generative fill to fill in those blank spaces for us. I think it could be really cool. Okay, so the first variation, it definitely continued with the sea of hot air balloons. Ooh, that's a really wild looking balloon right there. Interesting stuff. Here, fewer um, balloons, but really nice looking landscape. And number three, sort of a combination of the two, except here it looks more like balloons have exploded or something. It's kind of uh, interesting. Okay, so let's go back here to Leonardo and see what else we've got. So Red Hot Chili Peppers, we have Anthony Kiedis from the Red Hot Chili Peppers band, and some sort of mutations of him, <laughs> um, mixing him with some female faces, it almost seems like. Anyway, I was expecting either this or a close-up macro shot of an actual chili pepper, so that's interesting. Here we have Blowing Bubble Gum, and that is actually really cool how bubbles within the bubbles. This is kind of a fail. This is interesting, but not overall this one's awesome. Let's download this. Let's open this up. That is really cool. I like it a lot. So how about in this case, we just stretch things out so that the bubble is right in the center and we'll be able to give more, her more of a body as well. So let's zoom out here and marquee rectangle tool. Highlight this area. Whoops, try that again. And then over here on this side. All right, let's check out this generative fill. Wow, that's really nice. How about this variation? I like that a lot. 
how it's the background is perfect. Uh, here it's a little bit busier. If I were to choose one, it would probably be this though, just because it keeps our figure front and center and emphasis on the crazy balloons that are happening. Now it's not perfect. Like I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to be. And it would be nice if it looked like she was actually blowing the bubble, but overall just a cool image. So it is, it is what it is. Use your own imagination. Here we have a dog at the beach and um, nice looking friendly beasts. Lots of nice good boys here. Fail on that mouth. Just kind of weird. I don't know. There's something unusual about the anatomy. The legs are very short. And this one, there's some failing happening here, I feel. But overall, some nice looking images. If I rendered that a few more times, you'd probably get something nice. And this is super cool. The ship in a bottle. Now, I'm not going to lie. I had seen a similar rendering um, I didn't know it was going to be able to generate something this dynamic, though, with that short of a prompt and very few instructions. But that one is awesome. I kind of wish that this big hand section was gone. I could open that in Photoshop and remove it, but I'm more tempted to just do some more generations here because this Dream Shaper version 7 is incredible. Let's try something like the Beautiful Dream. I'll note here too that I'm using Dream Shaper, but specifically on the photography setting because this is where I found that it really excels, at least for the type of renderings that I enjoy doing. Let's try something else. Let's try science fiction novel. And let's try, what else can we try? Sky writing. There. Those are interesting concepts i think so here we have the beautiful dream that's quite pretty reclining against a waterfall she looks extremely serene this one is also nice i'm not used to um anime style faces here it looks like she's being smothered by the pillow um, but that is a really nice image i wish the body extended more down here but very nice here we have the science fiction novel and you know an alien terrain alien ship that's interesting that could be an interesting cover or movie poster and so you know just variations on the same thing interesting and here we have sky writing so i'm not seeing any actual sky writing there's no plane and there are no words in the sky we have some vapor trails happening there and a very tiny moon and galaxy which is awesome um, overall, though, these images are really, really incredible. Why don't we try something else, like the tornado, and see what comes back. Whoa, these are super cool. Let's check this out. That is really, really incredible. I mean, it's very, um, you know, it's an abstract take, take on a tornado, but that is a really wicked image. Look at how much motion there is happening there. That is really nice too with that ray of color that's shining through i'm not sure what that's intended to represent but it's a nice touch this looks more like a billowing cloud of dust than it does a tornado here this is very fantastical and i don't know if that looks like a tornado but a storm of some kind that has more of a tornado feel but there's such a billowy smoke sort of feeling to them Regardless, pretty cool images. Let's grab the first one here that I was so impressed with. Open that up in Photoshop. And let's see what we can do with this image. So I think that maybe the way to approach it is going to be to extend out this side so that we can get more of a feeling of the storm cloud. And also, I think that this is going to be a solid test of the generative fill to see whether or not it can match that very very specific art style let's go ahead and generate very nice let's see version two Ooh, that's interesting and number three wow it would be difficult to choose which one would be best like that's interesting but i don't like how it isn't symmetrical here, it, you can tell a very defined starting and ending, which to me looks more like fire and smoke, but regardless, very interesting. So those are the 
sorts of possibilities that are available to you here in Leonardo.ai with Dream Shaper version 7. There are some other newer models that are in Leonardo as well and I might give those a shot too in a quick demo. But for now, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And with that, I will see you the next time.